Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access. And this time we're going to talk about orphan records, how to find them, and how to scrub them. This is a very common problem in access, especially if you inherit a database or if you import data. An orphan record is a record on the many side of a relationship that does not have a match on the one side of a relationship. So let's try and set up a relationship between two tables where there are orphan records and see what happens in that instance and how to resolve that problem. And the example we're going to use is the example between the LU teams, the lookup teams table, and the employees table. One team can have many employees, and the common field that links those two tables is the team number field in the LU teams table because that's the primary key field. That's always the field you use in the table on the one side of the relationship, and the team field in the employees table. When I drag the team no field to the team field to create the relationship, it's a one-to-many relationship that much is known already by the edit relationships dialog box because the team no field is the primary key field in the LU teams lookup teams field. But when I click the enforce referential integrity checkbox and then click create, I get this message. Microsoft Access can't create this relationship and enforce referential integrity, and it has a little bit more details, but it's basically telling you that the data in the two tables does not always match. You have orphan records in the table on the mini side, which is the employees table. So let's go find these orphan records and fix them so we can enforce referential integrity. And again, that means that we have records here in the mini table that do not have a match in the one table. Let's just go look at this data so we understand more about this. In the LU teams table, the table on the one side, the parent table, we have six records, just with six team numbers and then the team name. In the employees table, the table on the many side, we have a corresponding foreign key field, and here's our team field with numbers in it, and some of them are null, but notice that we have some seven. Well, our parent table, the LU teams table, did not have team number seven. So those two records are our orphan records. Now, this would be fairly easy to fix because it's such a small amount of data. But consider if you were looking at importing orders or products or any amount of records that are on the many side of a one-to-many relationship and you could not enforce referential integrity. How could you fix that problem? And we always want to enforce referential integrity whenever possible because it prevents us from being able to create new orphan records. So referential integrity is a great set of rules if it can be applied. If it can't be applied, then your relationship looks like this without the one in infinity symbols and access. It's still a one-to-many relationship, but it does not set that referential integrity set of rules upon the relationship which prevent you from creating orphan records in the mini table. So let's go into a query and see how to find the orphan records and fix them. I'm going to save and close the relationships window, go into create a query. I'm going to pull in that LU teams and employees tables. They do know how they're related based on the fact that I saved those relationships in the relationships window. One team number can be related to many employees. I'm going to pull in that team number field, the team name, and the team field from the employees table. In order to programmatically find those orphan records, you double-click the link line and then look at these join properties. One is the default where it says include rows where only the join fields from both tables are equal. So if I look at that data sheet right now, I've only got seven records, and that's because only seven employees in this employees table have valid numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll pull in their last name, too, just to make it more obvious. When you have a relationship line between two tables, it's only going to pull the fields and the records where there's a match. And this is a problem for you because you have many more employees than just seven employees. It's just that the query now with the LU teams table only pulls out the employees where there's a match between the linking fields in that relationship. If I want to see all the teams, I could 
click number two option, OK. And now my link line changes a little bit. And now I'm going to see all the team numbers and all the team names, even if they don't have a match in employees. And that shows me that I have a yellow team and a pink team that do not have any matching employees. Conversely, if I go back to design view and I double click that link line and I choose option number three, include all records from employees, and I click OK, then I'm going to see all the employees, even if they don't have a match in the LU teams table. And this is very, very powerful because now we can find our orphans. We have two employees with a team number of seven and then a whole bunch of employees that have not been assigned a team number. So what we can do to just isolate those employees that do not have a correct team assignment is go back to design view and put the criteria is null in either of these fields from the LU teams table, hit my data sheet view button, and there we go. I found my orphan record. Now, how to fix these was dependent upon the situation. In this case, I've got two employees assigned to a team that doesn't exist in the LU teams table, and then a bunch of employees that haven't been assigned to a team at all. The answer to this could be to add team seven to the LU teams table, and then add appropriate data to these employees, and then assign these null employees to a team. But the point here is you've isolated your orphan records and how you either fix or fill in missing data is obviously up to the situation. But knowing how to use these relationships at query time, knowing how to include all the records from the table on the one side of the relationship or all the records from the many table in the relationship in a query is absolutely critical. Thank you.